welcome um i'm here i'm back talking to you guys <laughs> i haven't uh i haven't been doing a lot of talking videos lately i've been uh showing you a lot of time lapse uh videos uh and today i wanted to first say hello to everybody and then just uh show you that uh i will be working today with something different i'm going to be working with modeling chocolate if you've seen the videos in my channel you know that i always work with uh sugar paste but today and i do my modeling with sugar paste but today i found i started to work with modeling chocolate and i am in love because this material is so good it gives you so much to do so many different things you see how uh, i mean how it blends together how you can for example if you join them here and i just blend it and you cannot see any of the seams so it's really really good and it gives you the opportunity to do other things so i'm going to be playing with this a little bit today and i just wanted to show you um stay with me watch the video and tell me what do you think about this we're gonna probably be doing uh some face features maybe a nose and mouth or something like that so hope you like it thank you Here, I just added what it will be uh, maybe a nose and uh, the uh, where I will set my mouth. And I added a couple of pieces here where um, the wrinkles from the cheeks will be. But I want to show you this look, look how amazing this is! Like right now, it's barely the shape of something, right? But look, if I just keep working it. Like right now, I can I can start just working this here to create the nose. For example, imagine this in a big piece in as a head. Uh, now with the, I'm gonna use a silicone brush, soft because it's easier to blend um, than with the plastic tools. However, you could use the plastic. I'm gonna show you both. So for example, if I wanna if I wanna cover this seam, I don't want this to be seen. I just have to pull from one piece to the other and look how it blends just by stepping there just this is amazing I mean I'm not saying anything new probably a lot of my friends who already work with chocolate uh, modeling chocolate are like really but I mean for me it's fantastic because I'm used to work with sugar paste and i cannot achieve these results with sugar paste so you see that's it that's it that's over now let's see with the brush with the silicone brush so i'm just going to do this image right? put it like this so you can see what i'm doing so i'm just trying to blend these two pieces together right and the thing is this is a little bit wider so it's giving me a gap here that i don't want but i can go back with my finger for example i made a, a an indentation here with my nail i just go and cover it and that's it in the sugar paste this will be very difficult um since this is small i'm just gonna go with this uh tool with my dressing tool and just push this here and blend it try to make it even both sides okay this is kind of a caricature weird thing but um it's fun it's just for you guys to see how you can play around with the chocolate this uh modeling chocolate i bought it already made but they're amazing um recipes for modeling chocolate around there okay um there you go so as you can see, for example, here, like I had this big piece here and it looks weird. So I just wanted to bring it down 
So with, just with the heat of my hands, I'm bringing this down and I'm passing by and look. The thing is, you have to be careful not to uh, overwork it because with the heat of your hands, this uh, chocolate starts melting and it starts losing some of its properties. I used, uh, I colored this chocolate, this comes in white and I color it with um, a little bit of dust and some special chocolate, um, I mean, uh, edible color, especially for chocolate. It has to be special for chocolate. It cannot be like liquid gel or anything because it has to work with the chocolate. So there you go. See, no seams. Oh, that's so good. Let's try to make a nose out of it. So we did some sort of nose. <laughs> this is fun. Uh, look from the side, uh, you can see, like you can see in the beginning, I made these markings here and just by rubbing my fingers in it and just going around the chocolate, it I lost all the markings and now you can see like the shape of a nose. I don't know if you saw like, for example, here, I make also an indentation with my fingernails. So I just I have to be careful. And they're short. Imagine if I had long nails. And I can do this. So look how fun is that. Now let's imagine that I want a different nose. I want like a witch's nose, you know, or big, uh, I don't know, a different nose. What do I do? This is a simple, very standard nose. So I'm going to add a piece to the nose. Maybe a round piece here make it bigger and look what I'm gonna do I'm just going to blend these together here right oh, because I want the nose to be bigger and it's gonna be crazy if I was using sugar paste I would have to just do it all over again but with this, I can go in at a piece of it. Look, look how awesome. I love it. I haven't, I mean, it's not the material that I start working with. And I'm just new to the modeling chocolate. I haven't really used it for the smaller kind of pieces that I do. But love having fun with it. Um, you have to be careful also with the temperature of the room you're, you're working in. Okay, so for example, I have this. No, he has big nose now. As you can see, there's a little difference here in the shade of the chocolate. And that is because this one was cooler than the one that was already there. The one that I've been working is hotter. It's a different temperature than the one that I just applied. You can just heat the one that you apply later with your hands a little bit more work a little bit more or eventually when they all stand to the same um, temperature they will you will stop looking at this different in shade now the nostrils are kind of small now right because because it has a big nose and now they are small so I'm just going to open them a little bit more maybe move them up just to give some personality to this nose. 
can just there you go and maybe in here I can do some markings like it's smelling something right this thing is smelling something and there you go I just changed the news just by adding a piece and I can even make it different like let's put it let's bring this tip down to change the shape of the nose and look it's so cool love it I love to work with this I'm just gonna smooth it use it's good to use the silicone tools to smooth it because you avoid uh, marking your work or uh, because of the temperature of your hands you're not having any heat to the chocolate so for now I'm gonna leave it like that and I'm going to move on to do some sort of mounting here okay so there you go Okay, so what I did here was just the, just the markings of where the mouth is going to be. I'm still struggling with modeling the mouth that way I want them to, but I'm learning, I'm learning. I'm taking some classes and some courses with some amazing people and um, I'm getting there, but I need more practice. I just wanna show you how cool the material is in order to work with this. So right now, uh, I just opened like where I want my mouth from and like from this side to this side uh he's kind of smiling because his cheeks are opening up a little bit so now i'm just going to push the upper lip right just to make it there just push some paste up in order to create the upper lip I just want to show you the chocolate how can i use it for this so right now i'm just pushing the upper lip it's not perfect it's not perfect at all as you can see this one here is like two way up and i have this mark here that i don't like so i just push this back and it's good the mark is gone and that's the beauty of the modeling chocolate here like press press is the correct word to create the mouth or the lower lip right and the chin because with this base here look I'm just bringing it down here and I'm making my chin look I have a little marking in here so I'm just gonna blend it and there you go it's blended. I love it. I need to practice more, but I love it. I love it. This is a weird lip, but anyway. Now let's open this mouth. No. Okay. I did some sort of leak. No. It's just why not? Open the mouth. See what happens. I 
and make it smile even more. But let me use this one. Okay, I think I'm going to manage to do my lips a little bit better now, or not. I have a problem, I overwork everything, and then I don't like it. But hey, you can see that for people who has overworking problems like me, this is awesome, because you can add and remove paste at will. Right? Like here, for example, there's a void in there. There's a little hole in there between the nose, the nose and the lip that I don't like. So let me just add a little bit of paste in there. Look, I just did that. And now I'm just going to blend it here and redo my upper lip with no problem because it's chocolate and I have to say it's really tasty it's a really really tasty paste okay I get better I'm not saying this is the correct way of modeling I'm just showing you how I play with the paste for with the modeling chocolate paste okay I think I like it better now and maybe with this now since he's smiling I'm just going to make his lip bigger this is kind of cartoonish as well so it's not like anatomically correct so I'm just making him smile there you go it looks like a fan character. I said he. It looks like a he. Okay. Now in here, I'm just going to add the little markings here. Because I think I gave some more movement and personality to the face. Yeah. Like I said, there are many people who does chocolate modeling way better than me. I'm just learning. But I think it's so much fun to show you guys how to work with the, this paste because look all the changes that I have made just by you know pushing pulling adding you can add and blend and it's awesome working at Christina okay there you go I'm not doing anything else because I'm start overworking it and I lose it but uh, there you go this is some examples of what you can do with the modeling chocolate <laughs> give it some teeth like just adding and putting and that's it oh this is so cool um this is actually i've been i've been working this and now it's like blah, looks like bubble gum <laughs> but it's actually really hot which is a great for adding um adding to the piece um but you might see some difference here and there uh let's see what we can do we can
with this one I'm going to add some texture to it maybe like this because I don't want it to be like just there this will have to be painted afterwards of course right um, unless you want to leave your piece like white or something but and I'm just going to push it up here so it would look like it's coming out of the face and it's not just sitting there there you go my guy has a mustache I wanted to do an upper lip which is terrible and it end up with mustache he there you go that's so cool right Ta -da! thanks to the chocolate modeling chocolate okay i'm just blending these a little bit more so you don't see many of the markings but see see all you can do with modeling chocolate it's really fun, really, really fun. Once I figured out how to make eyes, I'll show you, okay? <laughs> but uh, for now, I'm just gonna keep playing with not, with noses in mouth until it gets better, right? For example, I wanna make some cheeks in here, so I'm just going to blend this over here and start building up the cheeks, right? Imagine this here. this is what i'm showing you today i really hope you liked it please try out the modeling chocolate it's really fun to play with it's a different technique you have to get used to it i'm not used to it that's why i'm learning but it's really really fun and uh, remember to like this video and subscribe to the channel for more videos and tutorials to come Thank you very much, guys, and I'll see you again next time. Stay safe and stay creative.